This video shows how to determine whether the relation is a function. How would you know if the given relation is function? Look at the domain. When the element or each element of the domain is paired exactly with one element of the range, therefore it is a function. Now, based on this, this relation is a function. Why again? Because no values of x repeated. How about example number two? Is this relation a function? So let us identify if each element of the domain is paired exactly with one element of the range. Negative 2, negative 8, but I want you to look at 0. 0 is paired not only with 0, but is also paired with 8. Therefore, this relation is not a function. Why? Please explain. Because 0 is paired with more than um, one value of the range. So let us define um, a relation that is function. A relation is a function when each element of the domain is paired with exactly one element of the range or no values of x repeated. Let's take a look at this relation. Do you think this is a function? So let us check. Domain 1, negative 2, negative 1, and 1. And range, we have negative 2, 0, positive 2, and 3. I want you to look at the domain. Is there any value of domain um, repeated? We have 1 and 1. Therefore, this is not a function. How about the next example? First, list down the domain. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, and then 4. How about the range? 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Now, you might say that each domain is paired with only one value of y, which is 1. Now, is this a function? Since y, which is 1, appears 4 times, yes it is. This is still a function because the definition of function is each element of the domain must be paired with exactly one element of y or there must be no value of x repeated. For this example, we will write each of the following as a relation. We will state the domain, the range, and we will identify if the graph shows function. So let us identify the, dom the domain, the range, and the relation before we say if it is a function. So to identify the relation, we will um, get the ordered pair of each point. So this is negative 2, negative 2. How about this point? This is negative 1, positive 1. Next, how about this? This is 1, 0. And this point, this is positive 1, positive 1. How about this? This is 1, 2, 3. This is negative 1, negative 2. So that will be 3, negative 2. And lastly, this point, we have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, so that is 3 and 3. So this is the relation based on the graph. How about the domain? So let's have negative 2, negative 1, 1, 1, 
3 and 3. How about the range? We have negative 2, 1, 0, 1, negative 2, and 3. Now, look at the domain. Do you think this relation is a function? Of course, it's not a function because there are values of x repeated. How about the next graph? So let us identify if this graph is a function. Now, in the other um, graph, we could say that this is discrete because we cannot connect the point. Same thing with example number six. Okay, so we will identify the relation, the domain, the, f the range, and identify if it is a function or not. So let's identify the relation. So let's take this point. So that is negative two. So let us count one, two, three. How about this? So this is zero, one. How about this point? This is 1, 2, and negative 1. So that is positive 2, negative 1, and lastly, this point, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2. So that is positive 3, negative 2. So let's identify the domain. We have negative 2, 0, 2, and 3. How about the range? We have 3, 1, negative 1, and negative 2. Obviously, this is a function because no value of x repeated.